Sports Center. I'll be talking to Griffin Ligare, who plays for the Morans national basketball team, to understand how he's been keeping fit during this time that sporting activities had been brought to a standstill. Locally, I play for Nairobi City Thunder. It's a club that uh, plays in the Kenya Basketball Premier League. And then I also play with the Morans, that's the national basketball team. That's the senior, uh, senior men basketball team. And uh, I also had the chance to captain the, uh, the team. Mentally, to be saying what I, what I did and uh, what we were encouraged to do is uh, reach out to the, each other, teammates. So, so we'll talk a lot, uh, make uh, video calls, reach out, message in each other, just to make sure that uh, you know you're, you know, you're on check. You've not lost it. So that's the first thing that we had to do, just to keep everybody on check. And then after that, we tried to make the best out of what we had in our homes, the, uh, the little space at home uh, to do home workouts. Uh, the challenge here was not everybody has a big backyard, not everybody has uh, space in their parking lot and stuff like that. And sometimes the space was too small, but that's what we had to make do with and just try to do home workouts, which basically included core exercises, high intensity interval training, and stuff like that just to you know just to maintain that physical fitness but it doesn't compare to the way things were before corona but at least it's something for us to do during that time so that we can keep our fitness in check we were locked up for a long time and you know you cannot do the same thing over and over again so um what i usually do uh, what i used to do was um i'll do core workouts and then the, fo the following day, I'll do push-ups. And then besides that, I will do just ball handling uh, within the tight space that I had. So I had to be like really creative with that because again, basketball, you're used to space. And right now we, have, we didn't have so much space. Besides that, uh, we were, like I said, through mes messaging and talking to teammates, you know, they will suggest exercises, drills that uh, you end up incorporating into what you do. So it was a combination of all of that, you know, stuff that you can do within tight spaces and just ball handling. So with my core, uh, when, I, when, I, when I'm focusing on my core, I, I do uh, quite a number of things to target the different core muscles that are, that are there. So uh, I will do the normal crunches that people will do and then I'll do planks I'll do high knees I'll do um, mountain climbers I'll do twists so that uh, I target you know all the muscles around the core and sometimes uh, the planks I will also do them on a basketball just to increase the degree of difficulty and just to make it more challenging and uh, that's pretty much what I what I used to do for my core and then for ball handling I'll you know start so basic with just basic uh, ball handling right hand left hand pounding and then after that I, I come to um, the basic dribbling moves that are there and then from there it's just combination of those moves and then I just do freestyle at the end and this is where creativity comes in and imagination because they, they re, we don't have uh, opponents to compete with so I'll, I'll just be creative I'll just be uh, you know very very uh, I'll just imagine there's a defender guarding me and then I'll just make a combination of all those moves and I keep doing that again and again and again until 
you know, until I feel like I've, I've had it enough for that day. Actually, at some point, I recorded some of the things that I, that I was doing and, in, and uh, I focused a lot on ball handling. And then I posted some of those drills on my YouTube channel. And uh, people actually were able to see what Griffin was doing. And uh, some, of, some of them were interested and they also did those drills, which was a good thing. There's this uh, coach from uh, uh, Mangu High School. His name is uh, uh, Kamondo. Mm. So he actually recommended those drills to his players. And at least they had something to do during this time. Mm. And actually to confirm that, he actually sent me videos of his players because the players sent him videos and then he forwarded those videos to me. And I, I could actually see that uh, his players tried those drills out. And that was very encouraging, at least to see somebody else trying, you know, to do something and trying to get better during this, uh, during this time. I've learned so many things. And uh, uh, one thing that uh, stood out was, uh, you know, we used to believe in that there's a tomorrow or, you know, tomorrow will be just like today or, you know, you'll just be assured of things just uh, turning out to be the way they've always been. What COVID has uh, showed me is um, um, always be prepared because you never know what tomorrow will bring. And from a mental standpoint, that's very, very important because I think if you're not prepared for, for, for this, you're going to give up and that will be the end of you. So moving forward, I know I wouldn't just be so comfortable knowing that uh, tomorrow will be like today. I need to be prepared for anything. And uh, I think mentally I was able to make that adjustment. And moving forward, um, I'll always rely on that mental strength, not just what I can see around me and, uh, you know, build my trust on that. I should be able to trust myself that regardless of what tomorrow will bring, mentally I'll be able to go, to go over that. Everybody has that chance and every, anyone can be able to make it to play for the Morants. Though it takes a lot of dedication, it takes a lot of hard work and uh, it's not just basketball that will take you there. There's also so many other things that you need to consider and you have to put into perspective so that you can make it there. Mm -hmm. Because uh, most, I know, probably if it's a young basketball player aspiring to play for the Morants, uh, someday you have to get your priorities right so that uh, you'll follow uh, the correct path. If you don't stay in school and think that it's just basketball, then you're totally uh, got any wrong. You have to be a student first and then after that be a basketball player, be the best that you can and then everything will fall into place. The other thing is uh, you have to be willing to, you know, you have to be a good teammate because basketball is a team sport. So if you're not a good teammate and you're a great basketball player, I don't think you'll be able to make it to to the Morans because it's about, at, uh, at, the, at, at Morans, it's about each other. It's about, you know, not just what you do by yourself. It's, a, it's, a, it's also about your, your teammates. It's about the coach. It's about everybody who's part of the Morans. So, yeah, you have to put all those things into perspective. And then, of course, if you passionately love basketball, just keep working on, on your skills. And then uh, everything else will take, will take its course. But just get those priorities right. And that's why you need to make a point to watch Metropole Sports Center. Reporting 